Wow, what a week we are having on House of Games and what a final we have ahead of us. It is a champion's week. You need two things to be a true champion. You need the desire to win and you need the capacity to win. And we have four players who have both of those. And as yet, we have absolutely no idea who's taking away this slightly golden trophy right here. It's been that close all week. Our players, let's meet them for the final time. They are Alex Brooker. Izzy Sooty, Kyle Smith-Bino, and Kay Adams. Welcome one, welcome all. There is a subtle hint as to who won yesterday's show, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Are you going to wear that the whole time? It's quite hot in here. It is hot. I'm going to definitely wear it for round one, and then I'll re-evaluate the situation. That's, do you know what? Let's re-evaluate after each round. Um, the first thing we need to do is look at the weekly leaderboard. OK, we've had three separate winners. Everyone has been very, very close. It is double points Friday with eight points for a win. And the leaderboard looks like this. Four points between everyone. Alex at the top there. But any one of you could win that trophy today. And that very, very rarely happens. And it's testament to a great week of quizzing. Alex, two wins this week. Yeah. Top of the leaderboard. How are the nerves? Yeah, I feel very much like Arsenal. At the moment, oh, I feel no. like I'm, I'm gonna. So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. I feel like I've kind of been up there, stayed yeah. up there, and now it's time to yeah. bottle it. <laughs> well, now it's time to bottle it. Um, Kyle, that trophy's still within your grasp. Yeah, I think so. I think it's. Um, it will look great next to the silver one. Yeah, won't it? Just... Or in front of the silver one. It might. Yeah, I can say the silver one might look a bit, uh, you know, tawdry. Yeah. Next to it. It's like those athletes who win bronze medals and they just throw them in the bin. Yeah. So, like FA Cup <laughs> losers' medals. Now, Kate, the only person yet to get a, an individual win, today it would be a good day to have a good day, do you think? It would. I, I've just been keeping my powder dry all week, really. You know. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's take a look at the prizes you could win. Listen, it's all about the trophy, but there are prizes as well. We have the salt and pepper grinders, we have the cocktail shaker, we have the watering can, we have the serving tray, and we have the golden wheelie luggage. Kay, what would you go for? Oh, I think the cocktail shaker. Oh, that'd be a nice class, yeah, isn't I, it? I think of you every time I mix up a Negroni, Richard. Exactly. And I, sus I suspect that's what Alex is going to say when we get to him. Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, actually. There, there's some good stuff on there. There is, right? It's gold. Yeah. A serving tray. That's <laughs> fun. <laughs> yes, I mean, that's, yeah, great. A serving tray. I don't have one. Uh, but serving tray may be Izzy. I think probably the luggage. I mean, oh, you wouldn't yeah. lose it, would you? Yeah, you certainly wouldn't. It's got to be luggage. Now, Alex, you've already won um, some goblets and yeah. a decanter. Yeah. What do you fancy here? I think I think the cocktail shaker is is calling out to me. Although I've got the blue luggage and I love it, and I would love to have a gold one to blue go with. Blue. I mean, that would be classy. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Do you have it? I don't have the gold one. Mm. I don't have the gold one, but I can't win. Actually, I could do. I could do what I wanted, really. <laughs> I would love you to declare yourself the winner <laughs> yeah. after such a tight week. <laughs> That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Do you know what? You all did well, but actually, I've been keeping my own score. I done pretty well. Um, <laughs> shall we get on with it? Shall yeah. we find our trophy winner? It's been a brilliant week so far. This is going to be an absolutely cracking final, I'm sure of it. Let's do it, shall we? Our first round is... <laughs> Wetter slap. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you a category. Your first category is cities. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two cities and we've swapped one letter uh, across from one to the other. You have to tell me what the two cities are, please. So what are these two cities with the uh, swapped letters? Birth and path. Yes, that is K. Perth and Bath. It is Perth and Bath. <laughs> Next two. Plague and Reeds. Yes, Kay. Prague and Leeds. Prague and Leeds. Absolutely, Prague and Leeds. Plague and Reeds, Prague and Leeds. Next two. Rent and so, Lewis. Yes, Kay. Ay. I'm going to time you out, I'm afraid. <laughs> Anybody else? Yep. Yes, Alex. Reno and St. Louis. Reno and St. Louis. Reno. It's correct. Well done, Alex. Next category is dances. So two dances, we swap one letter from each. American Smooch and Cantan. 
Yes, Kyle. Can can American smooth. Can can and American smooth. It is. I like the fact you buzzed in, looked confused for a bit, and then said it as if it was blindingly obvious to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next two. Time wasp and hurtle. Yes, Izzy. Time warp and hustle. Time warp and hustle. It is. Everybody is off the mark. That's how we like it. Next two. The Mobot and Rambo. Kyle. The Robot and Mambo. The Robot and Mambo. It is. Um, your next category is... Vegetables. Vegetables. Which vegetables are these? Racket and cord. Yes, that is Kyle. No. No. I'll time you out. That is he. Rocket and chard. Rocket and chard. Um, next two. Squish and splat pea. Yes, K. Squash and sweet pea. No, no. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Yeah. That is Izzy. Squash and split pea. Squash and split pea is what we were looking for. Well played, Izzy. Final question in the round. Beacon Lumpkin. Yes, Izzy. Leek and pumpkin. Leek and pumpkin is absolutely right. Uh, that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard on our final day of this Champions Week. Alex, you got one point. Kyle and Kay, two points each. Izzy, she did this last time she was on. She finishes strongly. Four points. How about that? Who is going to win that trophy, I wonder? It is still all up for grabs. Let's play our final pairs game of the week, shall we? It is... All in the details. Alex, you're in fourth place today. Who would you like to play with today? Izzy seems to be on fire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play. You're going to play with Izzy? Yeah. Uh, so, Kyle and Kay, you're a team. Izzy and Alex, you're a team. In this round, before the show, you filled in some clues, something to do with literature. And Alex, before the show, Izzy, uh, filled in some clues, which hopefully will lead you to a writer. A writer. Oh. OK, it won't be her. I'm okay. guessing that would be unusual. <laughs> uh, but she's filled in some clues, up to three words to fill in these clues. Here's your first one. Her poems include, according to Izzy, serious subjects, she also wrote, according to Izzy, and wrote. She wrote and wrote, this lady. OK. And her pseudonym was, according to Izzy, Ted Hughes's partner. OK. Absolutely no idea. Not even remotely. Not close. No. 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 Were, yeah, interesting. Interesting. We can't pass it across, but if we did, any Sylvia clues? Plath? Sylvia Plath? Sylvia Plath? It is Sylvia Plath, absolutely right. Um, her poems include Daddy or uh, The Bee Meeting. She wrote The Bell Jar, that was one of hers. And her pseudonym was Victoria Lucas, but she was Ted Hughes's partner. So you were cleverly using that last um, category <laughs> yes. to hint at that. Uh, Kyle, before the show, Kay filled in some clues. And we hope they will lead you to a play. Here are your clues. It was first performed in, according to Kay, a theatre, mm -hmm. thank you, Kay. A famous quote from the play is, Toil and Trouble. Mm. And at the end of the play, the title character is, according to Kay, dead. Mm. Spoiler. What are we thinking, Kyle? Macbeth. Is it Macbeth? <laughs> it is Macbeth. Very well played, Kyle. <laughs> Nicely done. It was first performed in a theatre. You're absolutely right, in the 17th century. Um, yeah, Hubble Bubble, Toil and Trouble, uh, out damn spot. And at the end of the play, the title character, killed by Macduff, so dead, so that counts. Um, Izzy, before the show, Alex filled in some clues, which I'm certain will lead you to a book series. OK. If I know Alex Brooker, he would have filled these in beautifully. It was written by, according to Alex, fantasy fiction author. <sighs> OK. The series title comes from, according to Alex, their black clothes. Huh. The main character is called, according to Alex, Big Polar Bear. 
I'd have a guess at that. Uh, I don't read much fantasy stuff. I don't think it's J.K. Rowling. I don't think it's um, Philip Pullman. Uh, oh, or is it? His dark materials might be... I mean, that is like their black clothes. In fact, yes, I'm going to go for um, his dark materials. Can I just say, Alex Brooker's <laughs> little face, when you said, oh, his dark materials, <laughs> it is his dark materials. Very well done. Their black clothes is a very good, uh, yeah. a very good food for that. Uh, written by Philip Pullman, absolutely right. The series title comes from uh, Milton's Paradise Lost. And the main character, uh, Lyra, uh, is the main character, but there is a big polar bear. Uh, in it as well. Kay, before the show, Kai Elfield and some clues. That will lead you to a novel. A novel, but which novel is it? Its setting is, according to Kai El, cold and rainy. Its author published it under the pseudonym Emma Lee Brown. And it inspired a, according to Kai El, Kate Bush song. Well, I'm thinking Wuthering Heights. And that last clue is doing quite a lot of heavy lifting there, isn't it? Should yeah. we go Wuthering Heights? Yeah. Is it Wuthering Heights? It is Wuthering Heights, absolutely <laughs> is. Well done. As I said, in the Yorkshire Moors, published under the pseudonym Ellis Bell, uh, and it did inspire a Kate Bush song. Where did Emily Brown come from? Just a um, bit of I fun. was trying to hide Emily. Oh, Emily Bronte. Oh, oh that's clever. Too clever for me. <laughs> That's the end of that round. It's our final pairs game of the week. And let's take a look at the leaderboard. Still no nearer, really, finding out who that's going to be because there's three points between them all. Alex, you've got two. Kyle and Kay, four points each. Izzy with five. Still just there in the lead. <laughs> Are you still OK in your dressing gown? Actually, I'm the perfect temperature. Oh, my God, that's great. Yeah. If only you'd known this on Monday. <laughs> we all could have come in, kind of come in pyjamas the whole week. I think I'm just going to go around in dressing gowns from now, in this dressing gown. That's a, that's a really good idea. Like, and when they say in 30 years' time, what happened to Izzy Sooty? What's, uh, she said, no, she just liked it. She just liked the yeah. dressing gown, so she, just, <laughs> she just never took it off again. Uh, three rounds to go, three rounds from glory. Our next round is... The backwards round. In this round, I have to read out the questions backwards. You will give me the answers backwards. So if I asked your name, you would say Brooker Alex. OK? Buzzers on fingers. Williams Robin starred also that film, 1997, which in genius mathematics, a played Damon Matt. Yes, Kyle. Hunting Will Good. Hunting Will Good. Oh. Will Hunting becomes Hunting Will Good. Question next. Seasons four, the Anne Valley Frankie of Story the Tells musical Broadway 2005, which? Alex. Uh, uh, story Side West? No, it does. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. Kyle. Boys Jersey. Boys Jersey. Jersey Boys. Correct. Country Eastern Middle, which in located are Dubai and Dhabi Abu. Yes, that is K. Emirates Arab United. Emirates Arab United is absolutely right. Very well done. Question next. Song this of title the is what? Yes, that is Kyle. Love this four fight. Love this four fight. We got a fight. fight for this love. Love this four fight by Cheryl. Um, question next. 2005 in broadcast first sitcom US, which in characters are Mosby Ted and Aldrin Lily. Yes, Kay, good luck. Is it Grease and Will? It is not, I'm afraid. Mm. Anyone, you were lucky to, to uh, not do this one. Mother, your met I how. That's what I was looking for, how I met your mother. Question next. Uh, song this of title, the, is what? 
Alex. Oh, no. Um, head, my, of, out, you, get, can't. Very nice indeed. Can't get you out of my head. It becomes head, my, of, out, you, get, can't. Question final. Buzzers on fingers. Star, little, twinkle, twinkle, follow words, sits what song? Children's The Inn. Yes, Izzy. Are you wonder? Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, Kyle. Are you what? Wonder. I how. Correct, Kyle. Well done. That's the last point in the round. That's, that is a tricky round, yeah, isn't it? Well played, everybody. Two rounds to go now, just two rounds before we find out our champion. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Alex has three points. Izzy and Kay have five points each. He's making a dash for the line. Kyle with eight points. How about that? You've got a sort of mix of nerves and apprehension on your face there. <laughs> nah. Two rounds to go, just two rounds until we find out our winner. Our next round is... I'm terrible at dating. If you would take your tablets out, please, everybody. We'll give you a series of events from history. You must tell me the year in which you think they happened. Mm. Whoever is closest wins a point. Ooh. Here's your first event from history. The postmark is introduced in England. The postmark is introduced in England. That little thing they ink on the envelope. The only thing I remember about postmarks is you can occasionally you could tell when a letter was from somebody. So you go, yeah. oh, Birmingham. <laughs> you know who that is? Alex, what's your thinking here? Just had a guess at 1906. Just a year why from not? history, isn't it? What, do you know what? Because why not? Why not? Exactly that. 1906. Izzy, what are you saying? Very, very close to Alex. I've gone for 1908. It feels like a reassuring sort of year from history, doesn't it, around <laughs> there. 1908, very close. Kyle, what are you saying? I've changed my answer three times, but I ended up with 1891. 1891. We're all in similar places. Kay? I'm going very, very early. 1780, 1780. says Kay. Might be a good risk to take, though, because you never know. So we've got three fairly close, one before. What do you think at home on this one? Postmark. Um, can you remember a time before the postmark? I certainly can't. The postmark was introduced in... 1661. Oh, oh, okay, go. very well done. That's very I'm nice older than everyone else. <laughs> uh, the stamp didn't come until 1840, so the postmark was there before the stamp. Oh. Who knew? None of us, that's for sure. Okay, you get yourself a point, a crucial time. The next thing I'd like you to uh, put a date to is this. Dr Heimlich invents the Heimlich manoeuvre for choking. All right. Huh. Everybody is in. What do we think at home on this one? Izzy, what are you saying? I mean, uh... Yeah, I'm either going to be very wrong or very right. I've gone for 1570. 1570. 1570. OK. Kyle? Uh, absolute guess. 1749. 1749. We're in very different centuries so far. Kay? Mm, I'm going much later. 1930. 1930, says Kay and Alex. Going for 1920. 1920 at the end. We've got some agreement. So three different centuries. What do we reckon here? When was Heimlich? Uh, inventing things. 1974. Oh, wow. Hey, you get the point again. How about that? Tell you what, you're, wow. you're, you're making out like a bandit in this round, Kay, aren't well, you? Well, I wasn't nice really that place. close. But... <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You get the point. Should we do another one? Another year? The first law in England that defines witchcraft as a crime is established. What do we think? Have you got an answer at home? Have you written down a year? You don't have to write it down, I believe you, if you just say it in your head. Everyone is in. So when was this year? K, 
Kyle. I've gone 1588. Feels like that sort of era, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 1660. 1660. Alex. 1550. 1550, all much of a muchness. Uh, and Izzy? 1414. 1414, that's a solid number, isn't it? Yeah. 1414. It's funny, isn't it, because I say, look, we're all roughly the same place. Imagine if you were born in 1550 and you lived till 1660, you'd think that was a long time. <laughs> and we're going, pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the changes you must have seen. <laughs> and look at us now, being flip about it. Um, what do we think, then? Could be a crucial point we're going to give away right now. In what year was witchcraft established as a crime? 1542. Alex is closest. Well played, Alex. Just about <laughs> nicely done. You're very close. Yeah. It was eight years away. Oh, no more witchcraft. <laughs> During the reign of Henry VIII, it was. Final question in this round. The Parisian cabaret venue, the Moulin Rouge, opens its doors for the first time. When was that, I wonder? It means the Red Windmill. I know that. That much I know. I've got nothing else on it. Anyone been to the Moulin Rouge? I'd like to go. OK. Listen. In my dressing probably, gown. You probably can go. Yeah. I'm going to go. I certainly don't know when it uh, opened its doors for the first time. Here we go then for the last time in this round. Kay, what are you thinking here? I was trying to think of the Ewan McGregor movie and when that was set, because it was kind of well established oh, yeah. then. Um, I I think people started having fun in the late 1800s, so I'm going to go early with 1880. 1880, says Kay. Yeah, it feels like that sort of uh, that time, doesn't it? Alex, what do you think? Yeah, I went not too dissimilar, 1860. 1860. Is he? A bit later, I've gone for 1929. 1929, says Izzy and Kyle. In the middle of all them, 1910. 1910. We are fairly close to each other here. Every point is crucial, every point incredibly important now. Someone has won one. What is the answer? Who scored the final point? 1889. Kay gets the final point. Great round for you, Kay. Yeah. I'm Very actually, I'm well cheating played. because I was there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the end of that round. Tablets away, please, everybody. We have one round to go. It is double points Friday. Whoever wins today is getting eight points for a win. There'll be six for second. Four for third and two for last. Our leaderboard looks like this. Alex, who was on top of the oh. weekly leaderboard, currently has four points. Izzy has five points. Kyle and Kay, eight points each. Goodness me, anything could happen. One round to go, all four of you could still win. That is incredibly rare. I wish you all the very best of luck as for the final time we play. Answer Smash. They are champions all. You can see that they're champions as well. One of them's going to be the champion of champions, and we're going to find out with one round. Fingers on buzzers for a final time, everybody. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Who's going to do it? Your first category is... Punctuation marks. Those will be the pictures. In the 1937 film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which dwarf has a name that means shy or easily embarrassed? That is Kyle. Bash full stop. Bash full stop? Oh, that is gutsy play. It is bash full stop. Bash full, full stop. Bash full stop. Next question. Next picture. Mark Bolan was the lead singer of which glam rock group named after a dinosaur? That is K. Trionosaurus. Exclamation mark. I'm sorry, K. I cannot give it to you. Lose a point. Is he? T Rex exclamation mark. T Rex exclamation oh, mark. Well done. That's absolutely well done. right. T Rex exclamation mark. T Rex exclamation mark. Next question. Next punctuation mark. Which Irish actor played the penguin in the 2022 film The Batman? We're all just sitting there thinking, mm. what do we call those? Yeah. Do you know this at home? Let's take a look, shall we? We were looking for Colin Farrellipsis. We were looking for ellipsis, those three dots. Next category is music duos. Who are these music duos, please? 
The Giant's Causeway and County Antrim comprises around 40,000 columns of what type of rock? Yes, Kyle. Sorry, I need an answer quickly on a Friday. You lose a point, Kyle. I only know half the answer. Meh. I was looking for basalt and pepper. Ah, the... Basalt and salt and pepper. Basalt and pepper I was looking yeah. for. Kyle loses a point at a crucial time. Next question, next picture. Which 2004 UK number two hit by Khalees takes its title from a type of cold drink? Yes, Alex. Milkshake Sisters? No. It's not, it's not, it's not oh. I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. That is uh, Izzy. Milk Shakespeare's Sister. Uh, Milk Shakespeare's yeah. Sister is correct. Milk Shake and Shakespeare's Sister. Next question, next picture. In the phrase meaning to take a risk by speaking out, one is said to have put their head above the what? Yes, Kay. Head above the parapet shop, boys. Parapet shop, boys? Is correct, Kay. Absolutely right. Any more categories? Kitchenware will be the category. That'll be the picture. Which 1968 Judith Carr book is about a girl called Sophie who has an unexpected visit from a big cat? Yes, that is Kyle. The tiger who came to tea towel. The tiger who came to tea towel is correct, Kyle. Well done. Any more? There are no more. Thank well you. played, everybody. People losing points, gaining points all over the place. We have two things to work out. Who's won today and then who's won the trophy? So let's uh, deal with the first one first. Our champion on Friday. It's the second win of the week for Kyle. Well played, Kyle Smith Bino. Well done. You've won yourself a prize. That much we know. Which of these would you like? Ooh. Um, I'm going to take the cocktail shaker. Nice. Kyle wins the golden cocktail shaker. Congratulations, Kyle. But has he won the trophy? The golden trophy for the champion of champions. Everybody here is a winner already, but there can only be one winner of winners. Our champion on this special winner's week of House of Games is... Kyle Smith Bino. Kyle, very, very well played. Thank you. Oh, it was tense. Right. Yeah, yeah, that went right down to the wire, I have to say. Could all have changed on a final question. Mm. Kyle, congratulations. All of you, congratulations. That was a really, really good fun week. Beautifully played, one and all. It's been an absolute pleasure having you back. You're all champions in my eyes. Uh, thank you for playing, and thank you all for watching this week on The House of Games. do we think in the place of the other one but if that goes in place of the other one just to let you know that the other one it goes in the blue recycling bin <laughs> <laughs> blue for cardboard <laughs>